My name is Mona Huka. I am a painter from Copas. My painting is not objective or figurative, but I wouldn't want to describe it as abstract either. To start with, it was a meditative process, putting together small circular shapes or zeros and creating compositions from them. My early works were composed of a sequence of these shapes. They had something to do with writing, too. It resembled calligraphy, and these were my first written pages, although no legible writing was visible. Then I began to work thematically, taking inspiration from writers. There was a series on Ingeborg Bachmann, on her poetry, and a series on Prince Hermann von Puchler Muskau, the acclaimed landscape gardener from Coppice. For me, it was not important that the viewer reads the words. For me, they provide a visual stimulus and create a mood, as well as being letters or symbols. In around 2009 and 2010, I started working with this format and produced a series of works. I created more and more of them. I called them moods because, for me, they are something akin to an artistic journal. The most important thing, of course, is the work itself, what is in the painting, but it is also important to make a living from it. You need to be able to promote yourself for sure. Moods are in a 30 by 40 format, a standard format of mine, and they are vibrant. I also create collages. I cannot really say how far I have come as an artist. That is for others to decide. I don't know. I can't answer that. To start with, my approach was playful. I paint a line. The line then prompts me to paint a circle or a two-dimensional shape. I then dismantle the shape and paint something else inside it. I combine the elements consciously or unconsciously, but with irresistible energy, and then I reach the point where I know the direction it is taking. At that moment, I work with intent, my mind focused. Otherwise, it is a purely intuitive response. I am greatly influenced by the American Expressionists, the likes of Motherwell, Twombly, de Koning, and Jackson Pollock, as well as the German Expressionists, the abstract Expressionist Emil Schumacher. This is where I see my artistic roots. I hope that I never stop developing as an artist. My artworks are often larger scale pieces on paper, which, how shall I put this, do not always withstand my scrutinizing gaze, and I tear them up. But then you can piece them back together and give them a new significance within a collage. I am not a political artist. I do not think that I influence society through my art. But I do think that we as visual artists reflect the society of our time. I did not study at a university, but I did seek mentors who have been very important to me, and whose art I hold in high esteem, and these mentors have accompanied me on my journey as a painter.
They are artists such as Hans Scheuecker from Cottbus or Strawalde and Hans Szymanski from Berlin. These are the people who are important to me. When I first started out, I was greatly in awe of canvas as a medium. But now, after all these years, I no longer feel that way. The most important accolade for me has, of course, been the Brandenburg Art Award from the Markishi Oder Zeitung newspaper, which I received in 2014. Of course, you gain publicity from such an award, and it is truly special to be acknowledged in this way. But I do not believe it has changed my artistic work. In the early 1990s, I was at the Städel Museum in Frankfurt, looking at a vast retrospective by Emil Schumacher, the German artist from Hagen, an abstract expressionist, and it was, for me, a profound experience. It was a very special encounter with art. It was a revelation, a formative moment, and I believe it was also a reason why I chose to follow this career path. I think it definitely has something to do with that. I changed my profession... I didn't study. I imagine that university students nowadays are prepared for the art industry. They are introduced to the exhibition landscape by their professors and of course learn a little about marketing themselves. I didn't have that same experience, and I had to work it out for myself, so to speak. I enjoy working towards an exhibition. It is an inspiring occasion. I can work under time pressure. Sometimes it can even spur you on. I can certainly work that way, but generally I go about my work as I always have done. There have been many exhibitions that have been important to me, particularly when you are exhibiting with colleagues whose work you greatly admire. But the most important one was my exhibition at the former diesel power plant in Cottbus, the museum. A museum exhibition is something special. You encounter a different audience. Yes, that has been my most important exhibition. <laughs> 